siempre como para saber con seguridad. Pero los títulos dicen que solo crecen en tamaño con la edad. Hello. Bueno, de una manera. Hello, teacher. Hello. Estos bebés llegar a tener incluso 200. El más lento de la lista Because uh, uh, believe me, yesterday I rang. How do you say reinicia el teléfono? Oh, restart. Uh, I restart my phone because my phone didn't work well. Uh, someone told me that uh, he called me uh, many times and I couldn't answer. And I investigate, investigate why and I had to send my phone to uh, his Mm -hmm. And I got it, but I need to re uh, I need to resort all the phone and I lost information. Oh, yeah. And I am and I am asking for everybody, <laughs> but I found Marcela. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, 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 very good. So, but you recover everything. Yes, I, no, all the information, no, or only the number that I am asking for someone. Please uh, send me your number and I and I put in order the things. Uh, okay. It, mm -hmm, it made me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, I hope you can solve it soon, Miss Vialta. Uh, okay. okay. So welcome to, to this uh, class. Okay, Let me I, see. Uh -huh, tell me. I move my background. Oh, this you move your background. Real, <laughs> this is my real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Very good. So, uh, let me see who else is here. Mr. Pastran, welcome. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Hello. How are you, mister? Uh, I'm pretty good. What about you? I'm fine, mister. Okay, uh, we're going to wait uh, a couple of minutes and then we're going to start with the, the with a class that I have prepared for you tonight. Okay. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see who else is here. Uh, Mr. Jimenez, welcome. Good afternoon, teacher, or oh, good night, or oh, good evening. <laughs> good evening, good evening, sir. Uh, welcome to, to the class. We're going to start in a couple of minutes, okay? Thank you, teacher, okay, no problem. Okay, uh, let me see who else. Miss Torrento. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, how are you, Miss? I'm fine. I do have for this war. Oh. You have for writing. You have yes. Words? Oh, okay. Yes, for writing for this class. Okay. Um, well, I have to ask you to, to, well, to everybody, the ones who are here, uh, if you complete the exercise that you have in uh, the platform, okay, do you already have the 80% or do you are missing some points yet? Do you complete all the exercises um, in the platform? Because you have till this coming Thursday. Uh, me, just, just teacher. I got my certificate. 
Okay, very good. That's nice. Mr. Mr. Jimenez, do you complete? Do you complete it? Uh, not this year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can use a basic. I'm Lisa? going in the I'm going in the by section by lesson. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Very good. So good. Um well uh you must finish you must finish um before this coming thursday because you the i don't know i guess the the close time let me see when it close i guess it closed this thursday okay the course closes this thursday so you must finish at least at least the 80 percent uh, of of the course of the complete course okay um so and i i, I will be asking you if you already did because if you don't complete this is something important if you don't complete the exercise uh, before thursday that's mean that you and if you haven't finished or, or, or at least get the 80 percent of in the whole course that's mean that you you won't be able uh, to go to the following uh, level. That's mean intermediate three, I guess. Pre intermediate three. So if you don't finish that before Thursday, you are going to fail this course and you are going to repeat it again. And, and we won't, we do not want that. Okay. So for the reason, finish it before Thursday. Uh, let's see. Who else is here? Mr. Escobar. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, sir? Uh, fine, I think. Uh, why do you think that? <laughs> because this is a long day and... Yeah, oh. oh, okay, got it, got it. Very good. So, uh, Mr. Castro, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing right. Okay, doing very fine. Good. Uh, do you complete the exercises in, in the platform? No, teacher. I, I go to in section 4.3. In section 3. Ah, okay, that's mean that you're in meter. No, section, section 4. Section four. Ah, okay, very good. Mister, uh, I have to remind you that you must get at least the 80% uh, in the half course, okay? And you must finish before this coming Thursday. Because if you don't do it in, a, in that way, you're going to fail. So for that reason, I'm asking to everybody, I'm asking everybody to uh, finish the exercises before Thursday, okay? Before Thursday. Um, uh, on Thursday, we are okay. going to on Thursday we are going to have the last session, uh, the last video class. So, and then you are going to be able to go to the following level. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Who else is here? Uh, Miss Aguilar, welcome. Hello, yeah. teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Miss. Good evening. Mr. Kangura, welcome. Oh, well, he is connecting. Okay, uh, Mr. Kangura, welcome. Good evening. Let me see who else is here. Miss um, Claribel. Okay, welcome. Hi. Hello, good evening, Miss. Do you finish the exercises? No yet, uh, just uh, section three. Section three, okay. Remember, you must finish the 80%, okay, as I said before. Uh, well, we're going to start with a class uh, that I have prepared for tonight's class. And uh, first of all, we're going to see the objective that we're going to try to achieve. Well, we're, we must achieve uh, in this class, okay? 
And it says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job uh, requirements where gerunds and short responses will be used, okay? So that's mean that you in this, in this class, you are going to listen to a conversation and we're going to see uh, something about gerunds and we're going to add an extra topic that is infinite, but you're going to see that information in the following slides. Um, for now, I want to show you a quote and I want your participation. We're going to be uh, just four people uh, participating in this, in this um, exercise. Uh, because I want you, I want to listen to you pr uh, practicing your English. So for that reason, let me see. Um, is anyone here who wants to participate as a volunteer uh, expressing what uh, you think about this quote? The quote says, think like no one listening, okay? Love like you have never been hurt, okay? Dance like nobody, nobody's watching, okay? And live like it's heaven on earth. What do you think about this quote? Let me see. Read uh, the quote and uh, as a volunteer, one of you open your microphone and tell me what you think about it. Teacher, okay. uh, uh, the words uh, no once es como decir no, no más, no alguien, o como lo puedo traducir. Eh, like nobody. Ah, ah, nobody. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, it seems like no one's listening. Like no, it says no one's. No one's. No one's. Sing yes. like no one's listening. Sing like no one's listening. Okay. Um. Maybe the quote refers to to live a life fearless, to be yourself, to don't have fear, maybe. Okay, okay very good, excellent. Someone else, Mr. Castro, do you want to participate? Sure, teacher. Okay, uh, go ahead. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, with uh how do you say pena como a penal okay it's like a penal i don't know okay. is no one listening nobody watching and i don't know it's heaven on her but um it's it's like uh sin pena sin vergüenza okay okay very good Okay, the, the, uh, what you think is that uh, you don't have to be, uh, or you don't have to have shame about, uh, about something, right? I think is uh, we have to live without prejudice. Okay, without pressure. Very good. Thank you. Let me see someone wrote in the- I think uh, this test talk about lie all day, like the last day. Uh -huh. Because okay. the life is so short. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, that, that's the meaning uh, that we have uh, implicit in this, in this quote. It, life is too short, okay? For that reason, uh, live your life. That's what, what, that's the meaning of this quote, live your life. Uh, that, uh, you must live your life like if uh, without fear, as Mr. Bertrand say, said before, live your life fearless, okay? Uh, because what you do, it's what's important, okay? What you want, that's what's matter, okay? Um, 
So you don't have to be focused on one, what people said about you or what people think about you, okay? You must be yourself, okay? Be yourself. Do the things you want, okay? Um, that's what is uh, this quote about. Well, after discussing this, we're going to see the topic that I have prepared for you for tonight. And the topic, it says, I need a job, okay? That's the topic. And we are going to be talking about Jaron and Infinity. And we are going to start with Jaron's. Um, I have a question here and it says, and it says what is a Jaron phrase? Okay, first question, what is a Jaron phrase? And here we have an answer. It says, a gerund phrase is a phrase consisting of a gerund and any modifier or object associated with it. Okay, pay attention to this definition because it's going to be helpful for us in the following examples that we're going to see. Let's check this information. Gerund, what is a gerund? Okay, we already discussed what is a gerund phrase. Okay, but what is a gerund? Okay, um, in this part we have the definition and it says the uh, gerund is a noun made from uh, a verb, truth, plus the ing form or oh, present participle, okay? Um, a whole gerund phrase functions in a sentence just like a noun and, uh, and can act as a subject, an object, or a predicative no, uh, nominative, okay? We're going to see that. If you look at the definition of gerund, the ones that we have before, uh, the pronunciation of gerund is gerund, okay? Gerund. In this part, you will find uh, uh, the, the, the meaning itself, okay? An English noun formed from a verb by adding ing. In this case, if we um, construct a sentence, okay, and we want to uh, take a verb, take a verb and add ing, and we use that verb with ing as a noun, that is called gerund. Why? Because we have, we have taken um, a base form plus the ing of, of, of a verb, but we don't use it as a verb. We use it as a noun. In this noun, it says that can be, can work as a subject, as an object, or also uh, as a predicative, okay? So in those cases, is it clear what I'm saying right now? It, or do you have any question? Do you have any so question? So when you use a, a gerund, gerund okay. uh, you have the verb plus ing, right? Exactly, verb plus but ing. You can use two verbs. When you use gerunds, you can use other verb. You, uh, you must use it. The thing here is that the gerund works as a noun. Okay, gerund. We're going to see some examples in, in the following okay. slide, but in this in this case, a gerund, it's not an action. Okay, it's not an action. It's a it's, it's a noun. In this example that we have here, check it out. It says traveling, traveling. I will use a marker here because I want to highlight this part, and it says traveling. Okay is a good way to expand your worldview, okay? Traveling, if, if we identify um, the verb, what could be? Oh, travel. What does it mean, travel? Do you know what is travel? Viajar. Okay, yeah. very good. Viajar in Spanish is a verb, okay? Travel in English is a verb. But in this case, we are not using travel as a verb. We're saying traveling with ing, okay, with ing. But this one, this part works as a subject, okay? 
as um, as a noun. What is the verb in this in this sentence? Is okay. Is is the verb in this sentence? What is the noun? Oh, traveling. Okay, in this case, what is the object? Oh, a good way to expand your world view. Okay, this is the object. Traveling works as a subject. Check it out the, the, the following example. It says, my passion is reading. My passion is reading. Um, in this case, we're using a reading as a noun, but it is, it is, uh, it is working in this sentence as an object, okay, as an object. And the, in the following uh, example, it says, my doctor suggests running to improve my health. Running, okay, in this case, we are using gerund, but it's not an action, it's a noun. Traveling, what does it mean traveling in this sentence? What does it mean traveling in this sentence? Do you know? Yes, uh, traveling is uh, como viajando, but in this case, a noun is a subject uh, you told us. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I will explain this in Spanish uh, to make things uh, more clear. Um, cuando nosotros utilizamos traveling, este, en esta oración está eh, o fun funciona como un nombre, ¿ok? Nosotros estamos diciendo en esta, en esta oración en español, viajar es una buena manera para expandir la vista este, de, de, del mundo, ¿ok? Nuestra visión del mundo. Um, traveling, si, si se fijan, viajar es una buena manera, ¿ok? Viajar es una buena manera. Aquí no está diciendo, yo estoy viajando, que es, es algo que se, se suele confundir con este, con el, um, eh, el presente sí. continuo, ¿ok? El tiempo del presente continuo. Esto es, eh, esto es algo diferente. Cuando nosotros utilizamos traveling, el significado, este, eh, en este caso no es viajando, sino que es eh, viajar, porque lo estamos utilizando como un nombre, ¿ok? Eh, en la segunda oración, ah, entonces... Tomando en cuenta eso, este, ¿cuál sería el significado de las, de, del gerundio de la segunda oración, donde tenemos reading? ¿Cuál sería el significado? Leer. Leer, ok. Mi pasión es... Leer. Leer, ok. Si nos fijamos aquí, nosotros estamos utilizando reading, ok. Pero no dice leyendo. Eso es, eh, eso es otra cosa, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque en esta parte nosotros no estamos utilizando el presente continuo. Estamos utilizando este, el gerundio. Y el gerundio es el que se utiliza como un nombre. ¿De dónde salen los gerundios? Ah, los gerundios salen de tomar un verbo base, ¿ok? Un verbo base y agregarle ing y utilizarlo como un nombre. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cómo, tomo, cómo hago yo este los gerundios? Ah, tomo un verbo, le agrego ing y lo utilizo como un nombre. Eso es un gerundio. ¿Ok? Yes. Ah, ¿Preguntas? Yes, me. Uh, for example, so if I say travel is a good way, that is wrong. Uh, if you say what? Travel is a good way, for example, without Travel is ING. A, without ING? No, in this case, um, why is wrong? Because travel is a verb, okay? Travel, okay? But there is a difference, there is a difference between using travel and using traveling. And, and that's what we are going to see during this class. Because there are things uh, that are called infinitives, okay? And there are things that are called germed, okay? Both are correct, 
but depending depend on the context that we are going to use it, um, that's the way that's going to work in a sentence. We don't say travel is a good way. We say to travel is a good way. That's what we're going to see in the following slides. In this case, we're going to be focused just in the gerund form right now, just in this slide. Then we're going to see what is the difference between using traveling and travel, okay? Um, porque hay dos, dos maneras de, de, de construir una oración e, y utilizarlos como nombre. Tenemos los que son los que son llamados gerundios y los que son llamados este, eh, infinitivos. Los dos pueden funcionar como nombres, ¿ok? Los dos pueden funcionar como nombres. Eh, el único problema aquí es que en los infinitivos, cuando funcionan como nombres, nosotros no podemos decir a uh, travel, ¿ok? Travel is a good way to expand. No, no se dice de esa forma. Para utilizar los infinitivos o utilizar un verbo como un infinitivo, este, nosotros debemos agregar la preposición to, ¿ok? para que esto sea infinitivo. Entonces, si queremos cambiar la oración, y en lugar de decir traveling, en lugar de decir traveling, ok, I'm going to say to travel. Travel. To travel. travel. Ok, to travel is a good way to expand your worldwide. Ok. This one is called infinitive. This is an infinitive. And this one is a gerund. Okay, both are okay, but we're going to see um, how they work in the following slide. So we identify that. Okay, we we must construct. We I mean we can construct uh, uh, germs right now. Okay, it is just taking the verb plus the ing form and then um, use that uh, word as a noun in a in a sentence. In this case could be a subject, in this case could be a, an object, okay, or a non -inuity. Uh Let me see the following uh, slide. Teacher, okay, go ahead, mister. Uh, uh, what is the best way uh, to use them in a conversation in, with ng uh, or to? You decide. In this case, both are correct. Both are correct. So, in an interview, decide. what is sounds better? <laughs> Which sounds better? Both. Okay. Both. The thing is, the thing is here, both sounds good. Okay. To travel is a good way to expand your worldview, or traveling is a good way to expand your worldview. But uh, the thing is the context where you say that. The context. And that's what we are going to learn tonight. Okay. The contents when, when we use it and uh, where they work. Okay. okay. Let's see. Check it out this, it said, in all the three sentences that we have in, in the previous slide, it says that words ended with ing are acting as nouns. That's what I was told, telling you um, uh, in the previous slide, okay? In the first one, we have traveling is the subject of the first sentence, okay? In the second sentence, reading, is a predicative or no nominative, okay? Um, a word or group of words that completes a linking verb and renames the subject. That, that, that's what uh, predicatives mean. And the verb is a form of the, uh, well, and the verb, is for, and the verb is a form of the linking verb to be and is followed by reading, which renames the subject by my patient. In the sentence number three, okay, the gerund is running. And in this part, it is acting as an object of uh, the verb. What is, um, well, we're going to see this. What is then, a, a gerund phrase, okay? What is a gerund phrase? Oh, in this case, gerunds can appear alone or bond together with other words to form a gerund phrase, 
When we use more than one word, than, than one word with the gerund, okay, this is called gerund phrase. Check it out this. It says, um, the whole, the whole word, uh, I mean, the whole phrase in this sentence, it's working as a noun. Check it out this, running, okay, is a favorite activity of mine, okay? Running is a favorite activity of mine. Ah, but when we use it in this way, running with size swords, well, I mean with scissors, it's a favorite activity of mine. All this phrase, all this phrase, it is working as a noun, okay? The, the, the old phrase is working as a noun. So this part, this is what is called, this is called gerund phrase, okay? Was, what is a gerund phrase then? Okay, a gerund phrase is, um, 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 a gerund phrase, okay? is a phrase that behaves like a single noun, but is composed by two or three words, okay? The, that's depend on uh, how we construct that in, in a sentence, but that is a gerund phrase. It is a phrase that has different elements, in this case, words in, uh, in, in, in well, different elements that works as a noun. Let's check this. Um, check it out. Check out this information. It says both the gerund and the gerund phrase of all functions as subjects. Okay, both words as subjects. In um, and also it takes the third person singular. For that reason is that we are using is. Is if you notice running, okay, running is a favorite activity of mine. In this case, uh, we're using is why because it is third person, okay. If we use running with scissors, okay, scissors, oh, that's the scissor is plural, but the main noun here is a third person. Okay, running with scissor because it is a, a, a gerund phrase that is working as a noun. In this case, it's third person. We are going to use also is, okay? Is, running with scissor is a favorite activity of mine. So what is, that? this is what is, um, that in this part is, is telling, it's te telling us the information. Um, and it says, we could substitute a non gerund noun such as chess, okay, to mentally confirm its function. For instance, chess is a favorite activity of mine. Okay, chess is a favorite activity of mine. So if you notice this structure, chess is a noun. Okay, chess is a noun. But if we notice the structure of the sentence, we know that um, in the first one, running, okay, with Caesar, running with Caesar, it's working as a noun, as chess is working as a noun in this sentence. In la primera oración que nosotros tenemos ahí, running with Caesar, en este caso, esa frase que se encuentra ahí, funciona como nombre, así como chess. Okay, o ajedrez en español, funciona como un nombre en esa misma oración. Así es como nosotros podemos hacer eh, o identificar que este, la oración eh, eh, funciona bien cuando la estructuramos de esa manera. Let's see. Then, okay, here it is, eh, it is the other part. Then, if we know the, the gerunds, we know how they work, we know how we construct gerund, 
okay? We know how they work in a sentence. And now we're going to see what are infinitives, okay? We're going to know the definition. And it says, an infinitive is a verb that, uh, um, well, is a verb form that acts as other part of a speech in a sentence. It is formed with two plus base form of the verb. In this case, we have some of, some of the examples here, to buy, to work, and they are used in this way. For instance, Jim always forgets to eat, okay? Jim always forget to eat. In this part, to eat, okay, it's working as a noun, but it is um, it is an action that has been um, has been construct using infinity. Um, for example, taking the, the, the first example that we, the, the first word that we have in, in the first slide, to travel, okay? To travel around the world requires a lot of time and money. To travel around the world, okay? In this case, to travel is working as a noun, okay? To travel. In this noun, uh, it takes the form of the third person, but if we use traveling or to traveling, both are correct, okay? Both are correct because all, all, uh, they are working as nouns. So, but as I said before, uh, the context where we use it, um, it was the what defined the use of these uh, these two elements, the germs or the infinitives. Do you have any question? In the last sentence, the verb is required. Requires exactly requires. Oh. Okay, to travel around the world requires a lot of time and money. Oh, in Spanish, uh, viajar alrededor del mundo requiere mucho tiempo y dinero. Okay. How we can use, uh, um, what could be another way to use this sentence? Um, Using traveling, oh, okay, I can do it in this way. To travel around the world, instead of saying to travel around the world, I can say traveling, okay, traveling. Okay, traveling requires a lot of money. I mean, a lot of time and money, okay, traveling. If you notice, they work, they work well in this sentence. Ambas palabras, en ese caso gerundio o infinitivo, funcionan bien como nombres. Eh, ¿Cómo formamos entonces los gerundios? A ver si alguien me, me, me lo explica. Does anyone have an answer for, for it? Me. Ok, Miss. Miss, okay. yeah. uh, We can use the gerundios when you use a, a verb as a noun or subject uh, at the beginning of the sentence. For example, I can say, eating pizza is bad for your health. Okay, very good. very good, excellent, excellent. But uh, they, uh, they are not just at the beginning, okay? They are not just at the beginning. They can be, um, they can work as, a, as an object, okay? Also taking the function of a noun. Of course, but they can be as, as an object or as a predicative. Um, en el caso de, de, de las palabras que son como, bueno, las palabras que son gerundio, este, estas no solamente van al, al inicio de la oración, sino que ellas pueden ir al inicio de la oración como, como sujetos o pueden ir este, después del verbo como un 
objeto o un predicativo. So, uh, in that way is that, uh, that gerunds works, but how we construct gerunds? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hacemos los gerundios? ¿Cómo los construimos? At ING. With an ING, okay, with ING. Pero solo el ING. Plus a verb, okay. Okay, that's what we're, we're going to, to do. Just take a verb, the base form of, of a verb, and add the ING form, okay? And then we have, we have to use that word as a noun in a sentence, and that is called gerund, okay? Simplemente es tomar eh, la forma base de un verbo, agregarle ING, y que esa palabra que ya está formada con el ING, este, sea utilizada como un nombre dentro de una oración, eso lo convierte en un gerundio. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear what I'm saying? ¿Es it clear? Hello. Are you there? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, yes, thank you, sir. I got it. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, what about the other? Is it clear? I got it too. Okay, very good. So, uh, well, write a sentence using gerund. Write a sentence using a gerund and uh, post it in the chat. Escriban una oración utilizando el, el gerundio este, y lo publican en el chat, ahorita mismo en el, en, el, eh, en el chat de esta videoconferencia. Could be a small sentence, just one, just one sentence, ok? Just one and could be short. So go ahead. Okay, very good. Watching movies at night, but for eyes. Excellent. Looking the sky is uh, so beautiful. It's so beautiful to be. Looking the sky is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Singing appeals to me. Singing appeals to me. Okay. Maria likes working as a flight attendant. Okay, very good. Playing at the park is great. Mm -hmm. Studying another language takes some years. Very good. Speaking English, there more vocabulary. Okay, in this case, speaking English, speak English, there more vocabulary. Uh, in this case, the verb is missing. Okay, stop smoking now. Smoking. Okay, very good. Stop smoking. Yes, it is working as a noun. Very good, excellent, you did it well, okay, you did it well. Um, well, we're going to check the slide and uh, we're, going to, we're going to see a video that you can find in the platform and then uh, we're going to discuss. So I will stop sharing and I will show you the video. Give me a second. Okay. 
Can you see the screen? No yet. Let me know when you when you see the screen. Yes, I can see the picture. You can see the picture. Okay, okay. Um, Hi, thank you for joining us. Can you listen it? Yes, I listen. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Very good. So please pay attention to the video and then we're going to discuss the video. It is just one minute before the five sec, 49 seconds. Okay, so pay attention. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. So, watch the video and tell me, can you... Uh... Okay, well, could you identify uh, some of the gerunds there? Working. Huh? Working. Working, okay, working. What else? Looking for a job. Looking for a job, okay, looking. Uh-huh. Let's see, we're going to see that, that the read. Uh, well, I would uh, just show you the script of this conversation. Traveling. Traveling. Yes. yes, traveling is one of them. I will show you here. Okay. Check it out the transcript of this uh, conversation. It says, now, nah, I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Okay. Uh, so do, do you see anything good listed on the internet? And that says, how about this? A door-to-door -door -door, door -door salesperson to sell baby products, like diapers and, and things. And he said, thanks. Um, and Anyway, I'm not good at selling, okay? What does it mean selling in Spanish? Vender. Vender. Okay, but if we use vender, okay? Um, we're using it as a verb, but if we use as a noun, what is the correct meaning of it? ¿Cuál sería el significado correcto si lo utilizamos como nombre? Vender. Vender. No soy bueno en vender. Vendiendo. Vendiendo. Okay. Uh, no vendiendo. Okay. Vendiendo. No soy bueno vendiendo. Ok, no soy bueno vendiendo. Very good. Si ven, vendiendo no es un verbo. Ok, no es una acción. Está fun es, eh, funciona como un nombre. 
Okay. As a noun. Let's see the other one. Uh, well, we're going to skip this and we're going to see the what uh, Brad says in, in, in the following participation. He says, that sounds like fun. I like traveling. Okay, I like traveling and I never been in a cruiser ship. Okay, I like traveling. ¿Qué es lo que le gusta a él? Ok, a él le gusta viajar, viajar, ok, si ven, uh, ahí en esa oración, I like traveling, ¿cuál es la acción en esta, en esta oración? I like traveling, me gusta viajar, la acción es, ah, que es la, la acción que se está utilizando, el verbo que se está utilizando, En esta oración es gustar. No, gustar. Like. Like. Ok. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Yo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Like. Ok. ¿Cuál es el objeto? Traveling. Me gusta. Me gusta. Ok. Eh, el me gusta, en este caso, funciona como un verbo. Y traveling funciona como un nombre. Me gusta viajar. Okay. Uh, the next one, it says, uh, that's okay. I don't mind working land hours. Okay. If the pay is good, what is the phone number? And, and, and then give him the phone number. I don't mind working. Okay. I don't mind working land hours. Is it an, um, a gerund or is it a verb? It is okay. It is a gerund. Why? Because working is working as a, uh, working is working as a noun. Okay. Um, it's a noun. It's a noun. Yes, working. In este caso, in esta oración, el working funciona como un nombre. Okay. I don't mind working long uh, hours. No me imagino trabajar largas La horas. Razón. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál sería la acción aquí? Ah, no me imagino, ¿verdad? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Esa sería la acción. I don't mind. Y el objeto de la oración, el predicativo. Ok, de la oración. Ok, guys. Um, that has been all for tonight. Let me see if you have any question about this topic uh, and I will be answering right now. Please let me know. Do you have any question about this or about the platform or I don't know, something that you want to ask? Mm -hmm. I understand. The topic is clear, yes, no? Uh, a question, <clears throat> it's all right. Uh, you told okay. me that uh, you can use uh, in, in both ways. For example, uh, I like traveling and I like to travel. Is it I like correct? It. In, in this case, in this case, um, uh, well, that depends the use that you are going to that, that you are going to do. Uh, if you use the year end, as, as a noun, it is okay, okay? But if you use um, the, in this case, the infinitive as an action, okay? Because in, in the case of, of the infinitive, we, it does work as an action, then um, is it correct too? But you must identify when you use it as a noun and when you use it uh, as, uh, as, as a verb. And, um, you can use it in, in, in both ways, okay? Um, in this case, I like traveling or I like uh, to travel. But if you use to travel, you must specify um, the, the place that you like to travel, okay? For instance, I like to travel to, I like to travel, um, well, uh, to the United States, for instance. 
Uh -huh. I don't know if this is clear. I like to travel to the United States. I like to travel to Paris. I like to travel to El Salvador because in that way it's an action. Mm -hmm. Is it clear what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is someone else that uh, have an, a question? Okay, Marcela says that the topic is clear. Okay. Yes, me too, teacher. Okay. Yes, me too. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, there's someone else. So no, nobody else has a have a question. Oh, teacher, it's clear. Okay, very good. So, uh, guys, thank you for being here. Uh, I think that uh, that's been all for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. We are just missing three sessions, okay? Three video classes, and then you are going to get your certification. Then you are going to go to the following uh, level, okay? So um, I hope that you can continue during these courses, and I hope that you you already sent the documents that were asked uh, to you. Uh, thank you for all, and I have to say goodbye and blessings uh, for all of you. Okay? See you tomorrow. Okay, you're Thanks. Bye. Tomorrow, bye.